All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about Bryce Hall and basically how Sarms has fucking done practically nothing for the guy. And I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I'm actually trying to give some good advice for not only Bryce Hall, but people behind the screen watching this current video of this fucking asshole with two daggered earrings. <laughs> trying to give advice to those who are thinking of either taking some sort of performance enhancing drug, right? Whether you are trying to hop on fucking tests trend you're trying to get on fucking maybe some sarms keep it simple right simple because you know that's the fucking uh because that's the fucking supplement that's so simple and has no side effects you know according to the uh entire platform of tiktok uh so yeah get the fuck out of here with that bullshit okay so listen guys seriously all jokes aside today we're going to be talking about bryce hall and how sarms has practically done nothing for him and i say this because of the fact that if we go back to a few months ago i did a natty or not on bryce hall and as a matter of fact, perfect timing. I hit the algorithm just right. Got a couple thousand views on the video, mainly because of the fact that after I made that video, approximately, uh, you know, two months, maybe ish around that time frame later from that current video, I got so many videos popping up in my recommended, you know, people from Greg Doucette or wait, did Greg Doucette make a video? I think he did. But you know, people like more plates, more dates, they did a video speculating if he was natural or not, because that's when his physique started becoming a little bit suspicious. And I know this, and I'm saying this for a fact, mainly because of the fact that later on Bryce Hall actually admitted to taking SARMs. So with all all of this being said, Kevin, what are you going on about? Well, what I'm going on about is because you see his current physique right now. The kid just got into a boxing match, okay? So I'm not gonna, you know, hit on the guy too hard here, no pun intended, but you know. I'm not gonna fucking bash the guy too much because, oh my God, every time I use these like fucking certain like words, he's, uh, I can't use that kind of terminology because I just keep thinking about when he got fucking pounded in the ring. <laughs> No, but all jokes aside, guys, like, you see his physique, and I'm not gonna bash the guy for being, about, you know, about 165. The guy was training for boxing. You know, the guy was trying to increase his stamina. He was trying to, you know, get more speed, more fucking, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think, and I can't think. I'm in a brain fog. Fuck! Just trying to be better overall at boxing. Clearly, that's not what happened in the ring, though, but that's besides the point. He was 165, so he was a lot lighter than when he was, you know, about, you know, a couple months back then when he was on SARMs. Uh, at that time, he was 165, and when he was training, uh, you know, especially with Bradley Martin and all the, you know, Sway Boys and all that shit, he was about, you know, 180, 185, so actually about my weight. Uh, the difference is, is that I'm 5'7". He's 5'10", which I don't think he's 5'10". He doesn't look fucking 5'10 whatsoever. I'd say he's 5'8 and a half and 5'9", around there. But listen, I'm not trying to fucking, like, shit on the guy. I'm not trying to, like, uh, listen, I don't hate him, okay? So just because I threw some shots at his height that I don't believe he is... Don't fucking hate me, okay? Because I, we can go back to the Jake Paul video I made, and I don't know if it was because I fucking said he wasn't the height that he claimed to be. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I got a lot of hate for that one. Fuck. So, yeah, guys, seriously, uh, the reason why I know he was 185 in, you know, the, his prime when he was on SARMs is because of the fact that he was on a podcast with Lana Rhodes and uh, her other friends that I guess is featured in the podcast as well. They're like co-hosts. And in the podcast, Bryce Hall claims that, you know, the last time he saw Lana Rhodes, or Amara, whatever she goes by, uh, you know, he was 140, so he was 140 pounds when he, you know, saw her in Miami, and then the, you know, time again, which I believe was on the podcast, he was 185 or some shit like that. The first time we met, yeah, like I was small. Yeah. Like I was like, like 140 pounds. What, what was that, pounds. like a year and a half ago in Miami? Yeah, yeah, I was like 140 pounds. Wow. And then I got up to like 185 at one point. And now I'm like 170. Just muscle fluctuation or yeah. fat as well. It's muscle. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, um, no, no, I didn't, I didn't get fat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, like, he's, like, he's like bragging, I just gained 20 pounds. I'm gaining Twinkies. Yeah, no, no, I gained, I gained like literally 35, 40 pounds in like a year and a half. That's honestly insane of yeah. pure muscle. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think that was even possible. I thought it would be like looking weird. So he obviously gained, you know, a lot of weight. But the problem is, is this fucking guy claimed it was 40 pounds of muscle tissue. 40 fucking pounds of lean muscle tissue. 40 pounds, my guy? Are you fucking serious, you mother? Now, let's get to the important part, okay? So I'm going to Instagram and I'm going to look at Bryce Hall's current physique. So obviously, 
I speculated in the past that the SARM that I believe that Bryce Hall took was Austrian, primarily because of the fact that Austrian will help preserve and maintain the muscle mass that you have while you are trying to get either in a caloric deficit, you know, trying to fucking cut weight and, you know, get leaner or because, um, what was the, I don't know, I, I said some other shit. I made a video about that, talking about Bryce Hall's steroid cycle. If you want to see it, it's up here. But yeah, I talked about that, and so I basically speculated that he was on uh, Austrian. And then he came out saying that he was on NFX, which I didn't make a video about because I don't know what the fuck that is. I thought I was the only one who didn't know what the fuck that is, and I don't make videos that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, so I decided to keep my head on the other direction. And then I found out that... That wasn't a fucking SARM. Because not only did I not know what the fuck that SARM was, but, you know, Derek didn't even know what the fuck that was. So, clearly, he didn't know, I didn't know, nobody fucking knew what that SARM was. So, I guess I'm not the only asshole on the internet that fucking looked up what NFX is or whatever he said into finding out what the fuck that is. And I had no clue what that was whatsoever. So, clearly, he didn't even remember what he took. So, that's also another thing we have to dive into. You told the internet? Yeah. Damn. All natty right now. Yes, but I did take SARMs in the past. Which ones you take? Uh, NFX. Honestly, guys, you judging by his physique, obviously he's not too genetically gifted with his midsection being, you know, relatively lean because it seems like he has a hard time. Either he has a hard time maintaining leanness in his midsection, or he just eats like a fat ass. But I'm not gonna say he eats like a fat ass. I'm gonna go towards more saying that he just has a harder time because it seems like, you know, he has decent arm development. He has decent legs. You know, he has a, a pretty good physique. But then you see his midsection and what he always gets bashed for because he you know always flexes and I, I don't know if he claims he has abs or whatever but a lot of people shit on him saying yo where the fuck is a six pack like what is this you're fat this and that which you know it's pretty fucked up I, I don't agree with uh, you know social media and, you know everybody doing that to him that's kind of fucked you know but looking at his uh, recent pictures he got you know as lean as I've ever seen him before the guy is you know with as well as maintaining as you know much muscle size as he is maintained currently he's you know decently lean compared to you know when he was on SARM so obviously the guy you know he fucking he tried to cut down and he, he did cut down so just judging by that let's just claim and, and, and let's just agree that he was a 510 right like you know the scoreboard said you're 510 165 pounds with some decent you know lean tissue on your on your uh, frame right you having this midsection uh from this post i look in when with the weigh-ins of him and austin mcbroom you look in the weigh-ins and he has like a two-ish four pack you know but even the four pack is not so visible like it's visible but it's it just it looks like it's not uh fully developed right it looks like it needs a little bit more work whether that means he needs to get a little bit more in a fucking deficit or he just needs to work on his abs a little bit harder or maybe it's both you know but just judging by that the guy has a hard time fucking uh you know showing off his abs clearly you know uh we go back to because that was you know this this month june obviously right uh we go back a couple months ago which i believe when he was on sarms was about four -ish months ago now I, I don't blame the guy obviously he took a big fucking deal made millions off this boxing match so obviously fuck the sarms get off fucking all that shit uh you know stop training in a bodybuilder uh kind of style and train for boxing Fucking get your bag, do you. I get you, brother, I get you. Going back to his prime, right, his his SARM days, okay? Go back a couple months ago, and just judging by his physique, he obviously was, yes, a little bit more developed, but he also had a little bit more fat on him. The guy was decently fucking strong. I don't know if I could find a video of it, but I did see a video of him benching 315, which is like, whoa, what the fuck, man? The guy, you know, got really strong. Now, the reason why I say SARMs did absolutely nothing for the guy is although he has progressed a lot in strength, and, you know, arguably, I, yeah, I guess even his physique in a way, it's just unnecessary. And the reason being is because you see his physique, and I think everybody would all agree that this physique is naturally attainable. It can be attainable naturally for most people, right? It's not out of the ordinary. It's not like, holy fucking shit, the guy is fucking looking sauce like a motherfucker, right? Looks pretty obtainable naturally. And so what I'm trying to say here is that this guy, Bryce Hall, 
and a lot of fucking people on social media, just a lot of young teens especially, they they hop on the, these fucking drugs, okay? You you hop on SARMs and you, you develop a, a physique, right? That yes, obviously you're going to be fucking better than yesterday, all right? Chuck, I get it. You're going to be better than yesterday. But the problem is, is yeah, although you're better than yesterday, what you are today is most likely fucking naturally achievable. I see <clears throat> SARMs being so fucking popularized, especially on TikTok, of it being an okay drug, an okay let's fucking do it type drug. And it's like, at the end of the day, why not just take a little bit more time and be a little bit more patient into seeing that progression that you wanna see so badly? Because at the end of the day, I think it's all about enjoying the process. Now, listen, if you are somebody who has almost maximize or has maximized your genetics to an all-time high whether that's physique or strength or whatever and you want to take it to the next level by all means you know that's your personal decision and that's your fucking body your thought process that's on you up to you it's your life i understand that but when it comes to scenarios like this it's like why take something and uh, reach a uh, progression of such that is so uh, it's just uh, achievable and actually I just don't understand that to me I just don't understand that because look at what just ended up happening the guy hopped off SARMs and it's a SARM that he doesn't even fucking or a SARM or SARMs that he doesn't even know he took or what he took exactly he doesn't remember the fucking name of it you know he takes it and then he hops off it then he cuts you know down hella because he you know gets into a boxing match with Austin McGroom and now it's like practically what, what, what was the point of that you know what I'm saying what was the point of possibly jeopardizing jeopardizing your health suppressing god knows what fucking hormones depending on what he fucking took and and that's why the natty or not i made i just fucking coincidentally made it shortly before he actually took something and i did say in the video that he was probably natural uh but then after you know me finding out seeing his progression maybe you guys are probably wondering how the fuck did you know that you know he was possibly on something because i did get a lot of criticism as well that he maybe have you know has took something mainly because of the fact that his strength is not all that and his physique is not all that well motherfucker your physique and your strength doesn't have to be all that to be on you know whatever because a lot of people most people in your fucking gym is probably taking shit and they look like fucking dog shit probably doesn't even look like they go to the gym right probably don't even look like it but they take stuff and you don't even know well because uh a number one thing that you have to look out for especially when you were doing that or knots is somebody who uh just started training or just started training really seriously and the first thing you see is an extreme jump in strength it just goes and their physique you know naturally right this is you right your physique and your strength when you're you know trying to work out naturally right you naturally achieve these levels of this time frame, right? Very slowly, very steadily. And, and over time, you know, you maybe one day, if you have realistic expectations, you develop the physique or the strength that you have been dreaming of fucking, you know, achieving, right? You hop on whatever. And I've noticed this in particular. Now, obviously it depends what you're fucking taking, but for the most part, when you are natural and you just start fucking working out or just start taking it really seriously and you hop on shit, what I've tend to notice in a lot of fucking people is is that yeah their physique will progress a little bit faster but their strength goes through the fucking roof and i mean it's like come on people come on like what the fuck and i feel like this is something that's so obvious so yeah i definitely noticed that strength will definitely go up faster than you know the person's physique especially if they're hopping on you know maybe pds right fucking hops and their strength goes up a shitload faster than their physique, way more than, you know, even if they were natural. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I got to really fucking say here, to be honest with you. Uh, honestly, I'm not shitting on the guy. I like Bryce. I think he's a cool fucking kid. Uh, props to him, obviously, for admitting that he actually took shit. So, because, you know, not a lot of fucking, especially influencers nowadays, take, you know, say anything because, you know, they would assume or they think that, you know, the majority of their audience would probably just shit on them and saying, Oh, it's fucking, uh, it's this thing, you know, you took that and that's the reason why you achieved this. And they really discredit the person for their work ethic and thinking that, oh, it was all the drugs and no work was needed. So obviously I can understand that side, but if you come to a realization and if you have seen the majority of people who have come out to admit that they take shit or they have taken stuff, you'll see that they get a genuine, authentic response back. And that is because it shows your authenticity. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you fucking agree with me or you don't. I just think that this was a complete waste of time. 
in my opinion, and I genuinely think that the SARM she took, whatever fucking SARM it was, was a complete waste of time and it did absolutely nothing for him because at the end of the day, he went from right here and then he took SARMs going to, you know, right here and now all the way right here again because, you know, not only did he uh, not even continue with the style of training that he was fucking, you know, training, but then he fucking had to get into a boxing match and so he had to cut a lot of weight and I don't know what his uh, goals are now. I, I have no fucking clue, but just... You know, taking the SARMs was a complete waste of time in my opinion. But what do you guys fucking think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the notification bell if you haven't fucking already. And yeah, once again, it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. We're fucking out. See ya.